Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello gorgeous folks, thank you again for joining me for another exciting experience with Fafa and today definitely we are going to be experimenting. So you know the Kobe Anguamu recipe that I did which is the salted fish, yes, okay. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can actually make that or familiarize yourself with that flavor that I'm talking about because now I'm going to be creating something on the whim. Yes, I'm going to be talking textures, flavors, and just so, you know, why not? If this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And yes, if you like what you see so far, please do not forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and the notification button, select all, which means you do not miss any uploads at all. And my notification gang, me love you guys appreciate each and every one of you anyway so here i've got the kanzo which is the burnt bit of the anguamo yes so the bottom parts and it's got that smoky flavor and it's also quite intense because that's where all the flavor settles down too so i've added that and part of my leftover rice that i had and i've mixed everything together as you can tell here so now I've got my mozzarella. Yes, my shredded mozzarella. I got this from Tesco's. So you can just grab that. And I'm just going to be mixing everything together, as I always say, till it's well combined. So now you are experimenting with me and you know you're going for the same thing that I go through when I'm creating a recipe. So I've added my spring onions. Now if you watched the um, Kobe Anguamo recipe, I did put some like you know habanero chili there and this is it here. So I need that little kick as well. So whilst I'm making this, I'm just like adding elements to it that you know I would like or you know I like something that spicy and has got that kick to it. And I've mixed it together. At this point, I think I was stuck because it was a little bit on the dry side. So I was like, okay, let me add some eggs. So I cracked two eggs and I added it and I mixed it. At this point I was like oh I should have just made my bechamel sauce and just added some cheese to it and that would have made it easier but I just wanted to make a one pot dish here so now I've added a bit of milk to it because of course if I was making the bechamel sauce I would add some milk and I mixed it and I noticed that okay I need to leave this for it to you know marinate a bit so that the rice can absorb the milk or the liquid may I say and that would make it softer because traditionally one would use the um, risotto rice for this which has a higher starch content by the way if you haven't clicked that subscribe button i don't know where you're waiting for and the notification button which means that each time i upload a video you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing please do so in my notification gang guys we love you now at this point you could just tell the girl was stuck it was like yeah how am i gonna bind this together and this is what i love about my experience when i'm creating a recipe because maybe sometimes i make it a little bit more difficult for myself um but then again if i don't try it then i wouldn't know if it works or it doesn't so at this point i was like you know what i'm gonna add some corn starch to it yes because that would mimic that starchy texture that I'm looking for. And so far, I'm quite impressed with what's happening here. So of course, naturally, I'm gonna mix everything together till it's well combined, as I always say. And now I'm grating some freshly milled black peppercorns as well here. What I love about this is you've got that salted fish flavor coming through. You've got the onion now, you've got the mozzarella, I've added the black peppercorns as you can tell you've got your spring onions you've got the you know eggs and then also big corn starch and this is looking creamier and much better 
So I let it rest for about five minutes. And then I added a little bit more of the mozzarella because yes, I wanted it to be cheesy. And at this point, I've got my gloves on. And yeah, that little string over there is just to secure the glove because the glove is an extra large size. <laughs> anyway, you know, you have to improvise these days anyway. And here I am rolling it. And I'm going to roll half of this and I'm going to leave the remaining half because I'm going to be trying another recipe with that which is so exciting. I can't wait to share that with you. It's almost like a pizza-like form thing. Yes, girl, I went to town with this. <laughs> so of course I've rolled about four bowls, um, as I mentioned, because I needed to divide this in two. And I'm going to refrigerate this, absolutely. So I have refrigerated this for 30 minutes and here I've got my beaten egg, my panko breadcrumbs, you can use any breadcrumbs and also you can just tell I've got my wok with my oil that is heating up perfectly. So here I'm just going to toss my arancini bowl into the egg mixture, yes as you can tell and then I'm going to carefully lift it and toss it in the breadcrumbs. It's as easy as one, two, three. And this is where we're going to, you know, start doing the frying shenanigans. Now, at this point, you know, this can be a messy job if you use your fingers. Um, it does get messy without a doubt. So just ensure that you do wash your hands with soap and water for a minimum of 20 seconds at least before you handle any food, okay? And please don't forget to drink your liquids as well, boost your immune system and take very good care of yourselves. Absolutely, me love you guys for you. So now I think my bowl is perfect and I'm just going to drop that into my hot oil. Your oil needs to be very, very hot um, because everything here is almost cooked. All we just need to do is brown the arancini bowl and that would just take about three minutes and you can even just tell right before your eyes that it's just browning beautifully yeah hmm. At this point, I just know that this is ready because it's got that beautiful golden color that I need. So I'm taking that out and I've placed that in my strainer so it gets rid of any excess oil. Absolutely. And I think this is almost done as well. Let me just take this out. Una. Umokonomofiopebe all respect to the king kobe exactly which is the salted Ghanaian tilapia fish which is sun-dried and that was the base for me in making my spicy oiled rice recipe which is called anguamo but of course with the salted fish and i used the leftover and also the bottom parts for it for this incredible arancini bowl so there is no waste your leftover can still look good now sitting okay mini Naturally, I will be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. The exciting thing about the blog is it has got recipes that I've not even filmed yet and the detailed information, a little bit of history there. So yes, do check it out and subscribe to the blog as well so you can get updates anytime I have a written recipe up. Now, naturally as well, you'd find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in Dubai for fun. So do pass by and say hi. Noral, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next experience with you kings and queens, please take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, eat well, 
Treat yourself from time to time with an Indudu by for first recipe. Why not? Absolutely. And yes, you know what? Put yourself in a positive place, a place that makes your heart lighter. You know, um, make amends if you can. Um, if not, move on. And just try and find your happy place. Because guess what? Me love you for you.